So we are outside of the Burj Khalifa. It's the tallest building on Earth. For our cardio, we're going to just walk the stairs all the way to the top. How many floors, A.A., Ron? 160 floors. 160 floors. So we're going to try to scale 160 floors. I hope we haven't taken, <laughs> taken, taken on a, a bit, little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> so this is initial one. This is ground level, level one. So it's this is the first, first, first leg. First leg of the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about the whole thing. Yeah. I think we should call it. OK. <laughs> All right, here we go. Through laying bricks, Daddy was training me in limitless perseverance in the face of any and all inner enemies. Assisted rescue area. I'm, I'm going to need that. For my entire career, I've been committed to a work ethic of uncompromising intensity. You show up, and you lay another brick. Pissed off, lay another brick. Bad opening weekend, lay another brick. Album sales dropping, lay another brick. Marriage failing, lay another brick. How you doing, big fella? I'm great. We're good. We're golden. We need to create some drama. It'll come. Nearly a year after my brother and I had started the wall, we mixed the final pile and laid the final brick. Daddy-o plucked his cigarette to the ground and said, oh, don't y'all ever tell me it's something you can't do. Hey. Hope our legs don't lock up. We are very, very tired. Uh, 60 floors to go. Let's go. My father gave me my name. He gave me his name. And he gave me my greatest advantage in life the ability to persist in the face of anything, to always get up and lay another brick. He gave me will. Nicely done, boys. <laughs> Last week. There you go. 160, baby. 160. Yeah, 160. Shit. So. I was looking at the building, and it dawned on me that we hadn't actually climbed to the top of the Burj Khalifa. And my sense of accomplishment turned into a dejected sense of failure. Um, so we decided that we were going to actually climb to the top of the Burj Khalifa. During this life. The challenge was that once Will started succeeding, and this is such a danger to people who start succeeding, especially when they start succeeding young. You've set yourself up that you have to keep winning. It's almost like a team with an unbeaten record. This is safety gear, so why, why do we need so much safety gear? Because I don't know what's up there. So this is concerning that we need this much safety gear. 100, 200 meters. 100, 200 meters. All right, let's see what happens. This is madness. We are now about to enter. It's called the spire, right? We're about to enter the spire. This is the individual highest point that a human being can be in a man-made structure on Earth. On Earth! Will is so able to sort of master anything through hard work and looks like the most eminent success. But that didn't come without a cost. Throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> please don't. Yeah, please don't. Yes, exactly. 